Hi, this is Tim Reedy for America Magazine, and one of the things we're writing about this week is the life and legacy of Sergeant Shriver. Sergeant Shriver passed away last month after a long struggle with Alzheimer's disease. Every day he would ask himself a question. What have I done to improve the lot of humanity? Now, here was somebody who ran for vice president in 1972, helped Lyndon Johnson direct the War on Poverty, directed the Peace Corps, and later helped run the Special Olympics with his wife, Eunice. So the fact that he was able to live out his Christian life in the realm of U.S. politics is really quite amazing. And somebody of his, a politician of his ilk, is unlikely to come on our political stage anytime soon. Here was somebody who fought against poverty, but also fought for the rights of the unborn. And in fact, he was the last Democratic pro-life candidate to be on the presidential ticket. I think there are a couple lessons we can take from the life of Sergeant Shriver. One is that faith is not for politicians in these days and not just a solitary affair, a source of personal solace and consolation. It is also a rigorous way of life that demands public action. Another lesson offered by Sergeant Shriver is that we should not turn away any public responsibilities and that we should try to engage the world. Speaking in 1979 in the election of Pope John Paul II, he hailed the election saying that here was somebody who would engage the world not turn his back on it and go into, for example, life in a monastery. And this, for Sergeant Shriver, was the key insight. Here was somebody who acted in the political realm, but also was shaped by his beliefs. And speaking then in 1979, he said to his audience, we need Christians not just in politics, but in the arts, in law, in medicine. Now, how do you maintain your Christian identity in these fields? Here again, we can look to Sergeant Shriver and a question he also favored. Am I living my life the way Christ would want me to? This is Tim Reedy for America Magazine.